Hello everyone. Um, so starting with the crust, I am uh, using cinnamon graham crackers, about eight crackers of them. Uh, I just roughly cut, you know, just crumbled them roughly. And I uh, I'm adding uh, some melted butter on top. And um, I'll just mix all of them, everything together into its a sand-like texture, and I'll show you what it looks like. And this is the texture you're looking for. So at this point, you just want to transfer the crumbs or the, um, the crust into our baking pan. I have transferred the sand-like texture into my pan, uh, my cheesecake pan that I covered with parchment paper. And I've just covered the bottom with um, the crumb, the crust we just made uh, in the blender. It's very easy to make and very quick. So the crust is all done at this point. And next I'm going to cream our cream cheese and butter that are at room temperature. I'm just going to cream them together until they're nice and smooth. And I'll show you what we add to them next. How many eggs do you need? Yeah, okay. Um, this is what the cream should look like after um, like uh, beating both the butter and cream cheese together for uncreaming them together. So at this stage we're going to add the eggs one egg at a time and keep uh, mixing. So after adding all the eggs one egg at a time and uh, beating in between, um, this is what your cream should look like. It's really creamy at this point. So now we're going to add the custard, the powdered sugar and um, I'll mix it some more and I'll show you what it looks like then. Just added the sugar, I'm just gonna mix, in, mix it together. Good job. And I'll show you what it looks like then. So next I'm going to mix in the vanilla extract and basically the cream side of the cream cheese, uh, the cheese side of the cheesecake will be done. Next, I'm mixing the pumpkin puree with the pumpkin spice and then I'm going to add some of the cream cheese we just made into the same mixture. Okay, so I, uh, I have added some of the cream cheese mixture into my pumpkin puree along with um, the pumpkin spice. I've also added uh, more sugar, more powdered sugar and I kept adjusting the sugar and the pumpkin spice until I get the right um, taste for me. So it's basically, you know, just up to you and your taste at that point with the measuring. Um, I'll give you how much I used of everything, but uh, it's going to be adjustable depending on you. Okay, so now on to uh, pouring everything into our baking pans. <laughs> 